And so it's amazing to see the difference that painting can make, even with things like moldings and baseboards and window frames. It's Huge impact. unbelievable, right? And we always take those things for granted. Yes. It's like the ceiling, you know, everyone kind of ignores it and then it's actually the most obvious thing in the room. So yeah. I thought talking about trim, it would be good. And the thing is, before I start, because everyone always knows that I say, I don't always use white. It's not because I have anything against white. Yeah. It's just because it's used as a default. So I want you to think about your trim and what color you're, and make it a choice, just like you do your wall colors, right? Yes. And, and these days people are going back to color a little bit. We're seeing more color on the walls. So the trim even becomes more important. So, yeah. so let's talk about white first. I've got white and that is typically what people will do and there's nothing wrong with it. You want to think about it. This is actually white, um, white dove, which is mm -hmm. one of my favorite whites, my one favorite trim white. And it's quite nice. Against the dark color, it's pretty strong. Like you do notice it. So in this vignette, it works because there's some white in the um, in the matting of the artwork, so it kind of pops. But your eye definitely looks to it, right? It's if you are looking for contrast, exactly. Then that is what you want. Now you probably have an option that has less contrast for you, and you can see the difference it's going to make just Let's switching out the frame. Paint out our window trim. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably a little faster than painting, but. I know when else you want to do this. You want to do this when maybe you don't have exactly the trim that you want. You're right, Tracy. Right? Because if you put white on the trim that you on um Sorry, if you put white, you're going to really notice the trim. So if yeah. it's little itty bitty trim, you probably don't want to do white. And right. I'm going to show you another option to hide it completely. Yes. But here, I've used Black Panther. And this is really interesting because a lot of um, designers are inspired by commercial spaces with the black okay. iron um, yes. window frames. So by bringing that inside, yeah. you kind of get this really cool look. It's graphic without being as strong as the white. So again, now your eye is drawn to the white in the picture frame. So by changing the trim in your space, you can really draw attention to other parts. So we talked about color and, and changing the color around it, the context, right. the trim is equally important to that. It really is, it makes the difference. It's going to tell you where the eye is gonna go. Right, now, you can I control love that. The, you can control <laughs> yeah. that. So I actually love the idea of painting it out. Um, Sometimes I think we've also gone from really sort of thin trim to thicker, thicker trim. trim. So anyone that still has the super thin trim um, and they haven't been able to sort of double it or go bigger, sometimes they just want to get rid of it. Yeah. Painting it the exact same color of the wall is a trick that we used in our house it's, in many isn't different that places. Smart? And that's what I really wanted to show here because we did that actually in the house that we just showed um, on tape also. Yeah. Let me just see here. Totally. I'm not a good window disappears. installer, but. <laughs> You did a great job there. That's not my thing. So totally disappears. So yeah. here we've taken the beautiful Van Dusen blue um, from Benjamin Moore's Historical, which is like mm -hmm. my favorite blue. And this is in a matte finish. And what I did here was I used Aura Satin. So you've, oh, you've got the same color, but you've got just a little bit of sheen. So it just draws attention to the dimension. Yes. But you're right, it just kind of disappears. And then you look at everything else in the space. So you're right, you want to think about whether you want the trim to stand out yes. and be the feature, or you want something else in the room to be a feature. And then your trim can really follow suit. Love that. So okay. you actually have the control over what is the focal point in you your do. space. Thank you for that power, Sharon. There you go.